Welcome back to the story of animals. Today, we're diving into the deep blue to uncover the fascinating differences between two of the ocean's most intriguing inhabitants, sharks and dolphins. While they may share similar habitats and even appear somewhat alike at first glance, these animals are actually worlds apart in more ways than one. So, strap on your fins and let's get ready to explore the secrets beneath the surface. Let's kick things off by looking at their appearances and how their bodies are designed for life in the ocean. Although sharks and dolphins both have streamlined bodies that help them glide through the water, they belong to completely different biological groups and have drastically different physical structures. Sharks are classified as fish, specifically cartilaginous fish, which means their skeletons are not made of bone like ours, but of cartilage. This lightweight and flexible material helps them stay buoyant and agile in the water, perfect for moving swiftly as they hunt and navigate their surroundings. In fact, it's their cartilage-based structure that gives them that uniquely smooth and stealthy movement underwater. Dolphins, however, are not fish. They're mammals. They belong to a group called cetaceans, which includes their larger cousins, whales. Unlike sharks, dolphins have skeletons made of bone, just like land mammals. They're also warm-blooded, which means they maintain a constant body temperature and have a thick layer of blubber that keeps them insulated in cooler waters. Another key difference is the way they breathe. Sharks use gills to filter oxygen directly from the water as it flows over them, which means they don't ever have to come up to the surface. Dolphins, on the other hand, are air-breathing mammals. They have to surface regularly to take breaths through a blowhole on top of their heads. Every few minutes, they'll come up for air, allowing them to keep moving quickly without breaking their rhythm. Now, let's talk about movement. If you've ever watched a shark or dolphin swim, you might notice something unique about how they do it. Sharks swim using a side-to-side -side motion, driven by their powerful tails and flexible bodies. Their tails, or caudal fins, move from left to right, creating that iconic side-to-side wave-like motion that you might recognize from any shark movie or documentary. This swimming style gives sharks impressive acceleration, which is perfect for their hunting technique. They're often ambush predators that rely on a quick, sudden burst of speed to catch prey off guard. Dolphins, on the other hand, move quite differently. Their tails, also called flukes, move up and down, giving them a graceful, leaping motion as they swim. This movement isn't just efficient, it's incredibly fast and helps dolphins navigate quickly through the water. Their up and down swimming style allows them to leap out of the water with ease, which you might have seen dolphins doing when they're socializing or hunting. These two ocean predators also have very different hunting styles and diets. Let's dive into the way sharks and dolphins find food in the ocean. Most sharks are solitary hunters, relying on stealth and a keen sense of smell to locate prey. They often ambush their targets using a burst of speed to catch fish, seals, or even seabirds. They're also well equipped for the job with sharp, serrated teeth that can cut through flesh with ease. Dolphins, however, have a very social approach to hunting. They often work in groups or pods to herd schools of fish together, making it easier to catch them. Some species even use a technique 
called bubble netting, where they create a wall of bubbles to trap fish in one spot. And while sharks have serrated teeth, dolphins have small, cone-shaped teeth designed for grabbing fish or squid, which they swallow whole. Dolphins and sharks may live in the same environment, but they are very different when it comes to social behavior and intelligence. Dolphins are known for their intelligence and are considered one of the most social and interactive animals in the ocean. They communicate using an array of clicks, whistles, and even body language to connect with each other. Dolphins live in complex social structures and often show behaviors that indicate problem-solving abilities, curiosity, and even playfulness. They've been seen cooperating, teaching, and even playing games with each other, behaviors that reflect their remarkable mental capabilities. Sharks, on the other hand, tend to be more solitary creatures. They don't form social bonds or have the same complex forms of communication that dolphins do, though some shark species may gather in groups when feeding or during mating seasons. While sharks have incredible hunting instincts and sharp sensory abilities, they don't show the same level of social interaction or problem-solving skills that we see in dolphins. When it comes to raising their young, sharks and dolphins couldn't be more different. Most shark species lay eggs or give birth to live young, but once they're born, shark pups are on their own. They're left to fend for themselves right from the start, relying on instinct for survival. In contrast, dolphins exhibit a lot more parental care. Dolphin calves are born live and stay close to their mothers for extended periods, sometimes up to several years. During this time, they'll nurse on their mother's milk and learn crucial survival skills through observation and interaction within the pod. This family bond is essential to dolphin calves as they learn the complex behaviors that will help them thrive in the wild. So, there you have it. Sharks and dolphins may share the same oceans, but they're incredibly different creatures. From their physical traits and hunting styles to their intelligence and family bonds, these fascinating animals each play unique roles in the ocean's complex ecosystem. And both need our help to ensure they can continue to thrive. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible animals, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our ocean adventures. Thanks for watching The Story of Animals, and we'll see you next time with more amazing animal stories. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.